Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another quick unboxing or rather a DIY setup. So this is actually a bug boost converter which I bought from Banggood. I'll leave a link in the description below. You could certainly buy it from there. So this is a cheap bench power supply. Uh, it has an input end and also you could provide input using the barrel jack. And uh, this can accept range between 10 volt to 40 volt. And on the right side you have the output. Uh, this particular actually has a quite a good build quality uh, the MOSFETs are good and even the soldering are good at the back you have the more uh, the model number which is d3806 this is quite a popular small handy device even the tracks are quite good they have actually added an extra solder so that it could uh, deliver current the six amp power current so the reason why I bought this is because I wanted to charge my lithium ion phosphate cells and uh, these are the prismatic cells which I had purchased from a seller. So these are 95 amp power and if you want these cells I'll leave a link in the description below you could certainly check that out. So to turn on you have to give a volt voltage range between 10 to 40 so I'm giving it 12 volt and as soon as you turn on it will automatically default to the last set voltage and once you click on set it will toggle between the voltage as well as the amp hour so you could toggle between the voltages which this can go up to 38 volt being a bug boost converter you could certainly uh, step up as well as step down the voltages so let me just quickly pump it up to 38 volt So this costed me around only $19. So since we are going to use this to charge or rather top balance the lithium ion phosphate cells, I'm going to put it across at 3.65 volt. Now the reason why you need to top balance is that before you could build your own DIY batteries, you would need to make sure that all the cells are the same voltages so that you get the maximum capacity out of the battery. So that's the reason why you would need to top balance. So I'm going to leave it at 3.65. And once you do that, you have to click on the set button and then you could toggle between the amp hours. So you could up and down the ampere. You can go up to six amp hour, but I'm, I'm just going to stick at four. Once done, just click on OK. This will turn on the uh, output. So the green LED would show that it's at constant voltage. The yellow LED would be the constant current. And the red one is pretty much showing that the output is active. So this is actually a constant voltage as well as a constant current uh, converter so pretty which is handy and also I'm working on building a 3d printing case I do have a 3d printer at home so I am building a case as well so if you're interested in buying this case or if you're interested in buying any sort of cases that you want you could certainly give me the dimension I could print that out so that's the top and uh, I did put some vent holes there but I'm gonna fix a fan there so if you're interested in buying this case do let me know leave a comment there and we could certainly hook you up with that. So it also has a 12 volt two pin fan connector. So you could certainly connect a fan. I do have a small fan, which I'm gonna connect it to the MOSFET so that it, it stays cool. So because charging lithium ion, bat lithium ion phosphate batteries of almost 400 amp hour at six ampere is pretty slow. So yeah. So what I did was I have connected the power oak 12 volt output to the input of the bug boost converter and I have also kept the small fan on the top so that it could cool the MOSFET as well as the inductors. So right now if you see the yellow light is blinking which or rather it's solid which means that it's a constant current and the maximum the ampere that is delivering is at 4.025 and then you could click on the OK button to toggle between the voltage as well as the ampere. So right now the voltage is at 3.45. And if you see, I have connected the lithium ion phosphate batteries uh, four in parallel for now because I ran out of bus bars. So for first, I'm going to connect four batteries. I'm going to top balance them to the 3.65 voltage. And uh, then I'll just move to the next set. So this is how you top balance it. If you're interested in buying the cells, you could certainly reach out the seller from Delhi. And uh, being a six ampere i think it'll almost take a couple of hours maybe like around five six hours to at least reach the uh, tapering voltage of 3.60 
So this is quite a replacement for uh, building your own bench supply because I was looking out for buying a bench power supply uh, which can deliver, I mean, at least a moderate current of 7 amp power. But I came across this, so that's the reason I bought it. So it's almost been 6 hours from the time I connected it. So right now, if you see, the amperes have dropped down. So uh, the battery is only accepting 0 0.2 ampere, that is 2 milliwatt. And uh, the voltage is already set at 3.65. So I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. I'm going to disconnect it after it reaches maybe it drop downs to uh, less than one. So this is how you actually top balance the batteries. And if you have any questions, do leave it in the comment section below. And actually, guys, I'm building up a Telegram channel as well. You could certainly join the Telegram channel by searching for DIY India. I'll leave that name in the description as well. You could certainly join the Telegram channel. We could have a, a healthy conversations there. If, or any, any, any kind of a guidance that you need. And also, I'm building a website, the same website, which is DIYIndia.net. I am working on building the website, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Stay subscribed. Have a good day.